Hi, this is Heather with Especially Paper. Today I'm going to show you how to set up score lines in Cricut Design Space. The file I'm using is the Little House Christmas Ornament from Especially Paper, which you can find at especiallypaper.com. But these same instructions work for any score lines that you want to set up, no matter what the project is. To get started, upload the SVG file by going to Upload and Browse to select the file. Make sure that you're selecting the SVG version of the file. Once you've uploaded that to your library, go ahead and select the image and then select Insert. I'm going to blow things up here a little bit just to make it easier to see. There are a couple of prep steps before you go to cut the pieces. By right-clicking and selecting Ungroup, then I'm selecting the peak in the roof. I know I need that to be a fold or a score line. And then I'm selecting the folds in the house. And these have actually been connected together for this particular file. So you just need to select one and you can switch them all to score lines. Now I'm selecting the house and the fold and choosing attach. And then doing the same for the house piece. What that does is it keeps the scores and the outer piece connected together when you go and click Make It. Otherwise, Cricut would actually try to cut those pieces and lines separately. I'm also going to hide the little square that goes inside that's a different color. So anytime you don't want to cut a, um, one of the pieces on the file, you can simply go to that right hand palette and click the eye to hide whichever piece you don't want to cut. And that's it. Super easy to switch things to score lines. And the way Cricut Design Space works, um, I'm a, I happen to be using the Cricut Maker machine. So I have a scoring tool that I'm going to use. So whichever machine you have, use the scoring tool that's appropriate for that machine. And then just follow the instructions from Cricut to switch between the score tool and your cutting tool.